Paul Edbrook lying in a Geelong hospital bed in a neck brace, lucky to be alive. Today, uh, I think uh, I just witnessed a miracle. The Frankston MP and 16 others all surviving the crash landing of a skydiving flight gone wrong. To actually crash and have 17 people walk out of there, um, I reckon that's as close to a miracle as I'm ever going to see. Mr Edbrook says the Cessna caravan carrying a pilot and 16 skydivers lost power shortly after takeoff at 8am from Barwon Heads Airport over Lake Konawari. Within 25 seconds, the light aircraft was on the ground on the opposite shore. Yeah, this pilot just showed, I think, amazing skill being able to, I think we skipped over the water or crashed onto the water and then onto land and left the, the landing gear there. Most were able to get themselves out of the aircraft. Paul, still in disbelief, praised the actions of the pilot when things went south. When the engine failed, I looked around and I saw the pilot actively trying to sort out the problem. Um, there was no panic there. The 44-year-old, an avid skydiver and a former firefighter, is bruised and scratched. Paramedics treated more than a dozen at the scene. Seven in total were taken to hospital, four with serious injuries. As you would imagine, when we hear a plane crash, uh, we always think the worst, and uh, particularly with 17 patients on board. So I think this time we've been extremely lucky. Police in the Australian Transport Safety Bureau are now both investigating. In the meantime, with family at his bedside, Paul is already plotting his return to Parliament and to the skies. In my mind, yeah, I'll be skydiving and it could even be next weekend. Um, this this wasn't a skydiving issue, this was a um, light aircraft issue. Mike Lorrigan, ABC News, Melbourne.